uh, hello campers. Just want to do a quick review on this uh, O2 Cool uh, portable fan. I've uh, been very impressed with it. It's really, uh, my opinion, one of the best buys I've ever made, okay, as far as uh, accessory for uh, the small A-liner trailer here. Uh, unlike most uh, portable fans you buy, this thing has power. I mean, it's really putting out. Um, it has, uh, I'll bring it over here. And it has just basically two settings, low and uh, high. Okay. And low gives a decent amount, but you really want it on high. Okay, so just two settings. And it's really putting out really well. Okay, now it's on electricity setting right now. What I've been using it in the trailer for is uh, to help circulate the air conditioning because it's uh, over 90 degrees out. It's doing a really good job of that, keeping the whole trailer uh, nice and cool. Okay, and you'll see it here on the settings. Okay, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to unplug it and it will go to... Okay, so now it's gone to the rechargeable batteries, as you can see. Hopefully it's not uh, causing interference on the sound here. But you see it's got rechargeable batteries. And it doesn't blow quite as uh, fast with the rechargeable batteries, which should be completely charged, but it's still pretty darn good. Now when a rechargeable battery, this tends to last about two hours, I'd say, two to three hours on rechargeable lithium. And once that happens, it'll go, then automatically go to the alkaline batteries. And the alkaline batteries can last a long, long time. You could get eight, 10 hours on a good set of batteries, which are underneath. Okay, uh, in here, I think it's eight uh, batteries, alkaline I have in there. So it lasts a long, long time. So, uh, you know, for the amount of power you get, this is a really nice feature. Again, when you're plugging it in, it will charge. Okay, so if I plug it in, it'll start charging. So let me hold on here. All right, so now I plugged it back in, and you can see it's on charging status, okay, and it shows you, uh, you know, which, type of power is being used, okay? So uh, just very impressive, it's, it's pretty lightweight too, you know, it's not a, even though it's not a big huge fan, it's lightweight and you have a nice carrying handle here and I store it underneath the bed and so it's been in travel mode where it's been under the bed and it's done pretty well. Um, you know, it's probably been banged around a little bit under there when we hit bumps on the road, but I haven't had any problems, it's still running well, it's not noisy, Okay. It's a nice quiet fan. You know, I've got the air conditioning running in here. That's where any noise might be coming from. So been very impressed. Does a really great job of circulating air. You can certainly use this in a tent, um, outside. Um, it works uh, good during the... You can also has a uh, adapter, a cigarette lighter adapter, a 12 volt adapter, which you can hook up. Okay, I don't have that out right now, but that does come standard with this unit. So you could plug it in if you were uh, boondocking. You could use that. You might say, well, why use this instead of you know the fan you might have? You know, I have a fantastic fan up here in the A-liner, which I use sometimes. But you know, the way that's positioned, you don't have like any flexibility in where you want to position it. Okay, this you can put anywhere in the trailer, okay, and you can position it the way you want. So that's why I think it's they really complement each other. Having the fantastic fan, having this, uh, they don't, both don't use a lot of power. They're not power hungry, so you can run them off of your 12-volt uh, battery or batteries for a decent amount of time. You can charge this thing up. You can't do that with the fantastic fan. So this can run off of batteries and the lithium batteries, so the fantastic fan can't do that. It's got to run off your, off your house battery of your trailer. Okay. So I've used this many, several different outings, and uh, so far, so good. Um, very impressed with it. So I'll put a link, uh, Amazon link in description box, and if you want to check the current price on it, you can look at other reviews of this product, too, see how what you think. But, yeah, I definitely am very happy with this purchase. This is one, one item that uh, I think one of the best items that I've bought for the trailer as an accessory off Amazon. All right, so we'll see you later.